that spirit is a lifestyle um, ASMR artist. I am a lifestyle ASMR artist. My ASMR is surrounded basically my life. Be confident here in Texas because when I started looking for the croaker fish, the guy told me we got the croaker cousin. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny but it wasn't funny at the time because I was upset when I was a truck driver a lot of places I went I didn't see um, people of my culture if I did it was just maybe like one maybe two and but I never thought about like you know that would be if I see more people of my culture I definitely would move here I just didn't even think about stuff like that mm -hmm. Are you sure they like your dog? Make sure that they ain't got no attitude with you like. Don't get into no fight and no argument and then ask them to walk your dog because don't be outside yanking at home yelling at them, being mad with them because they mad with you. Just because it has the same name, don't treat them the same. Franchises, different owners, different people, different employees, different managers. And I feel like employees that are rude like that and disrespectful to their customer, it's because the owner's rude. She always describes to them exactly what she wants. She makes these drinks, y'all. All they got to do is she tell them what to do, they make it. See, it looks like this. It's very light and creamy, the coconut milk. And you just tell them to add whatever flavors you want to it. Nadine has pumpkin spice and caramel. It's been a long day, you just want to go away. You can't sleep at night, and now I'm here. I can't promise tomorrow, but you're gonna feel out of day. We can tingle it away. Now I'm here. Good morning, Spiritalites. Hey, y'all. So yesterday was Friday, and I had a pretty good Friday night. We went to Popeye's. We bought a fish sandwich. No, it was something different about the fish sandwich. So we ended up not having dinner. We ended up just going to bed. I did want to watch TV, but I think I felt like the week was overwhelming. So by the end of the night, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go to bed. And I'll just get me something good to eat for breakfast. So yeah, we're on our way out. We're going to Waffle House to pick up breakfast. We were going to do Denny's because we wanted pancakes. Nadine really wanted pancakes. For some reason, I thought that Waffle House had pancakes, but I guess I got it confused. They only do waffles. I don't know why I thought I had Waffle House pancakes. Maybe, I don't know why. Maybe I got pancakes somewhere else. I don't know, but I got them from Denny's too. So, we caught a couple of Waffle Houses. My ear just came on because it's like, you got to keep the air on right now. Something's going on like the, the heat in the house just rises up too much. Called the different Waffle Houses and they're only taking orders if you come inside. So we couldn't place an order. We kept calling around. We finally found one that took our order. So. We're about to go take a trip so we can get our breakfast. I ordered blueberry waffles. I don't know why I got a taste for blueberry, but I do. Blueberry waffles, some grits, and some scrambled eggs. I didn't want no cheese, and their hash browns are really good. So when I get back, I'm going to eat, and I'm going to just chill and watch TV. I'm just going to relax. I'm not going to do nothing. I'm literally not going to do nothing for a few hours. Me and Nadine cleaned up yesterday. I cleaned all the dishes. Nadine wiped down all the surfaces. We cleaned the studio area. And, you know, the only place in the house that's really not clean is my bedroom. <laughs> so later on, I'll probably get up and start working on that, wash a few clothes, and just enjoy my weekend. I hope you're enjoying your weekend. I hope that you get done everything that you need to get done. And if you don't, it's okay. You still got um, Monday next week to start messing around with stuff. But do make sure you find time to rest. That's what I'm doing. I'm finding time. I'm finding time to rest these bones just a little bit so that I could come back next week swinging. 
So yeah, Nadine is doing her hair right now. We should be leaving out in about maybe 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and head to the car and I'm gonna wait for her there. And that way I could be on my phone a little bit and see what's going on on Facebook. I haven't loaded to Facebook in days. So I may do that when I get back. No, not when I get back, a few hours after I get me some rest. I may do it. If not, then, you know, maybe Monday. But I haven't been on Facebook. I kind of take a break from the social media because sometimes it gets too much. You know, it gets too much. I like, take a break from that stuff. I'm feeling pretty good today. I'm excited. I'm excited about just eating, getting full, and going back to sleep. That's what I love to do. Like, when I get full, I just want to sleep. And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to really enjoy my Saturday. I'm not going to stress too much. Especially the house smells so clean. The house smells so good. The only thing that I really, really needed to do, and I may not do it today, maybe Sunday, I need to get me a bed spread for my bed. That's what I'm probably going to work on. I want to go to Bath and Beyond and just pick me out something really pretty. But before I do that, I want to make sure all my blankets that I have are folded and put up and put away. And then I'll make sure my room is really, really pretty and clean. Then I can put down my new bedspread, light me some candles, and sit in the relaxation of it. That's what I want to do. We'll see what happens, though. If it don't happen this week, maybe next week, but I'm hoping this week. I also want to order... I forgot the name of this eyeshadow palette that I want to order. I don't forgot the name, but I got a picture of it in my phone. I'll tell you about it if I remember when I get to the car. I want to order me an eyeshadow palette. Put on my moisturizer this morning, and I could feel like I felt like little tiny bumps. Like they so small, they there. I feel like I need a facial mask. And I need to take my hair out. I need to wash it, moisturize it, condition it. And then I need to put on a new wig. So we'll see what happens. I was thinking in my sleep too. Girl, when you going to dye your hair? Like I seriously need to dye my hair. But I don't know. Shoot, the winter's already coming. So I used to keep my hair tied up. I, I didn't really wear my hair much out this summer at all when the summer is here. But it's okay. I'm just going to probably keep it in protective style. And maybe next, maybe next summer I'll really wear it out and then I'll dye it. That's probably when I'll dye it. I still keep, continue to let my hair grow, letting it be healthy, and maybe I'll dye it by maybe the spring or next summer. Yes. But for right now, I'm definitely going to wear the wigs and protect the styles. And I need a, a new wig. I definitely do. I have one, but I also want a um, a different style wig. I got so many wigs. That's another thing. I need to organize my wigs. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that, but I've been doing it little by little, unpacking and organizing stuff. So little by little, just getting myself organized, making my life easier, easier to find stuff. I have so much stuff, little stuff, just putting it in place would just feel good that look, I know where it's at. It's organized and I can find it. Being organized is very, very important. But, okay, y'all, let me head to the car because I want to be already ready to pull out by the time they get downstairs. I think I'm going to stop and get me some coffee. That's exactly what I'm going to do just to make myself. Oh, speaking of coffee, my Dunkin' Donuts pumpkin spice coffee was delicious. It was so good. And what I like about it is you taste the pumpkin spice. It's not like a bunch of syrup and sweet. No, we just nothing wrong with that because I like that too. But the, the, the coffee has the pumpkin spice flavor. And you can add your splendors and sugars or whatever to it. So I really enjoyed that. Mmm. It smelled good already. It smells so good already. Y'all, this is so good. I'm telling you, and I'm glad I'm telling y'all the difference because so you can already be prepared for yourself. I have such a huge respect for Dunkin' Donuts pumpkin spice coffee. It is really, really good. So I might go get me one of those this morning and enjoy that while, I'm, you know, I'm going to go pick up my food. But yeah, I see y'all when I get to the car. Y'all, it is beautiful. The sun is shining. Mm, 
Make me want to stop by the lake and just look at it. Yeah, it's nice out there. I need to find my shades. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. I got my shades. So, yeah. Let me wipe down my stage. I'm about to hit the road. I'll see y'all when I get to the Waffle House. Or to get my coffee. You'll see me when I'm out. I'm at the Dunkin' Donuts. I ordered my large pumpkin spice decaf. Even though I said decaf like twice, I'm still going to make sure when I get up to the window. From here, I'm picking up the waffles. And then when I get up to the window, I'm going to make sure I get up to the window. From here, I'm picking up the waffles. And then... I keep saying, and then we're thinking about eating at the lake, so that's gonna be nice because it's such a beautiful day, and, and we haven't been to the lake in a minute. I'm gonna try not to sip on my coffee uh, because it is for my meal. I don't know, shoot. Yeah, and you had a large um, pumpkin spice latte, no espresso, caramel, coconut. Milk. Yeah. Okay, and then the other one was a large pot decaf with pumpkin, yeah. spanda, and cream. We're gonna make eight. Yeah. Okay. Yep, she got my order exact. That's what I'm talking about. When you got the order exact, because I was just about to ask her, make sure it's decaf. She she ran that thing down to me, so I'm happy about that. Shoot, go ahead, Duncan. That's what I'm talking about. Good customer service. Thank you. I'm just shaking it because it feels empty. It feels so light. Can I get a straw, please? Let me just look at that. Oh, okay. It's like, it's almost filled to the room. Not all the way. It's like, I don't know. Lately, I've been feeling like, it feels kind of cold. I'm glad I'm going to heat it up. Can I have some extra splendor, please? Oh, that's nice. They didn't drink. Wait a minute. This, do they have coffee in it? Yeah, after the coffee. Is there coffee in here? I told them no espresso, but I don't know. Can you ask them to make sure? Because I'm, I'm not sure if it's just the color. Yeah. She, she said she don't know. Because the one in coffee it's and it's kind of... Yeah, it's supposed to be coconut milk. Yeah, coconut milk. Let me tell her. I got the extra Splenda right there. It looked good too. But those that like coffee, I know that tastes good. I, I love coffee, but I could have got that ice, like iced decaf coffee. That would have been good. But I don't, it's too early for me. I need something hot. And my coffee don't seem hot. But it could be the cup. I'm scared to taste it because it's like... Mm -mm. It don't seem hot. I'm just going to make it real hot. I'm going to go all the way back home and make it real hot. I don't like no cold coffee. GPS signal lost. But I don't want to be like, my coffee not hot. You know, I mean, if I was going to drink it right then and now, I would say something. I think they're making the whole thing over again, y'all. So, hopefully it come back right. I'll show it to y'all probably when I get to the Waffle House. But when they hand me the coffee, I'm taking off. I'm gonna jump right in this traffic. It's definitely Saturday. Saturday, everybody, their dog, cat, and mice are out, okay? Everybody is out. So it's traffic everywhere. I ain't gonna waste no time going to go get my food so I can get back. Okay, so I wanted to show y'all this drink before I pull off because Nadine, she always describes to them exactly what she wants. She makes these drinks, y'all. All they gotta do is she tell them what to do, they make it. See, it looks like this. It's very light and creamy, the coconut milk. And you just tell them to add whatever flavors you want to it. Nadine has pumpkin spice and caramel. That look freaking delicious. I'm ready to drink my coffee. But Nadine, she picked it up and she looked at it. She said, Mom, your coffee cold. <laughs> she said, it is cold. So I'm going to go home. You know what? I probably should... I don't know why, but that's my second time at that Dunkin' Donuts that my coffee was cold. There's another Dunkin' Donuts that I like my coffee piping hot. Like, I guess it just depends on where you go. And see, they probably don't get a lot of requests for decaf. So by the time I ask for decaf, it's cold. And then they add milk to it. And it's just like, I'm just going to go all the way back home and heat my coffee up. I wish I didn't have to. Then from there, I'm going to go see how crowded the lake. Because I know one time we went to go... Uh, sit and eat at the lake and we got there was packed with people so I'm definitely going to go see what's going on before I decide if I'm going to eat there. I'd rather go see then go home heat up my coffee come back then to go to the lake and then no I said that backwards I'd rather go to the lake and see what's going on go all the way home heat up my coffee then to go all the way home heat up my coffee and go to the lake and it's packed. That almost sound like Peter Piper, Ketchup 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 Piper, Ketchup
So let me check my Facebook while I'm sitting here because Nadine is already on her way out with the food, which is good. 222. It's 1222. Mm hmm. Angel numbers. This is our second time at the Waffle House. We had to come all the way back. They wouldn't answer their phone, period. They, for some reason, they just got to, it says forward. And after they tell you they're not taking orders, that it just hang up on you. It don't ask you, do you want to speak to customer service or anything? It does say something about you can um, see location on wafflehouse.com. Hello? Hello? Oh, my bad. I didn't mean to call you. That's Dream? Yeah. Hey, Dream. Yeah, so we get all of... You said what? Okay. okay. Thank you, Jane. You back. We get home. We're going to heat up our food and everything. And the freaking food, half the food not even there. Half the food not even there. We come all the way back to try to get the rest of our food, and the freaking place is rude. Mm. I'm, I'm, mm. Mm -mm. Okay, I'm back home. I'm going to try to, like, get my energy right so I don't have to, like, be mad because I'm not going to let that Waffle House mess up my energy or mess up my day. But that's why when you find a place that you like, you got to kind of stick to them. And the place that I like wasn't answering the phone. I should have just immediately called Denny's or went to AHA. But no, I tried a new Waffle House and it looked janky when I first went. I knew it was going to be janky. And I knew the people in it was going to be janky. And then when they didn't go in there to let them know, they're going to slide the blueberry muffin across the counter instead of handing it to her and putting it in a bag and it's hot. And Nadine said, Mom, I'm telling you, if you weren't so hungry, I'll just get a refund because I don't appreciate being treated rude. They were so rude and janky, but I'm over it now. I'm so over them. I'm telling you, just because it has the same name, don't treat them the same. Franchises, different owners, different people, different employees, different managers. And I feel like employees that are rude like that and disrespectful to their customer, it's because the owner's rude, period. Because I know if I was an owner, I'm not going to allow no one to treat my customers a certain way. Unless I don't have an issue with it. But anyway, my coffee is um, super cold. Well, it was already cold from Dunkin' Donuts. That's another thing. I don't know why. I, see, this is what I'm talking about. I gave that Dunkin' Donuts another chance to get my coffee right. See, the first Dunkin' Donuts I went to, that was a totally different one. That's one of my favorites. This other one, they always messing up the orders or they don't get certain things right. And I, I, I don't say nothing. I'm like, I'll get over it. They'll fix it. But this is the second time they're not hand me cold decaf. I'm over them too. When I want me some hot coffee, I'm not going them. I'm not going to them. Period. I'm not going to them no more. You just gotta know when to, to to just say no. Like stop giving stuff two or three times. Giving them a chance when they they're just gonna do worse the next time because that coffee way colder than the first one. The first time I had to go way out of town. And I couldn't wait to get some hot coffee. I couldn't even turn around and go home. My coffee was like literally lukewarm. This time it's cold. My blueberry waffle look uh, a little bit undone. I'm hoping that it's cooked for real. At least my coffee will be nice and hot. Yeah, the coffee's nice and hot now. So um, let me enjoy my... No breakfast now. It's freaking 2 o'clock messing with them. Hey, speed of lights. So today I'm trying my silicone mask on. Today is filming day for Dream. He got the cutest sneakers. Let me show them to you. They're so cute. Dream always have like the cutest sneakers every time he come by. When he saw my mask, he said, Ma, what the freak is going on? I said, well, I told you to call me. Like, call me before you just ring the doorbell. He didn't call. So now he had to see me with my silicone mask on. Anyway, I'm about to go jump in the shower a little bit while Dream's filming. Hey, Spirit of Lights. Hello, hello, hello. 
<sighs> just got out the house for a minute I got my face frowned up because of the sun uh, I want to put on my shades but I don't want to put them on because I'm still I just freshly got my makeup on I'm still doing stuff but I came to pick up my lo mein I'm so hungry and that's an understatement I'm starving but I just wanted to stop in and say hello I know I haven't picked up the camera in just uh just a couple of days that's all it's been I was gonna pick it up yesterday but then I don't know me and Nadine started talking riding and talking and I just didn't feel like picking up the camera but today's a new day today is Wednesday y'all happy hump day I hope y'all doing good I'm trying to work around all the stuff that's going on around my apartments. They're fixing up them on the buildings. The neighbors are out. The dogs are out. The kids are out. It's just a lot going on. But I am definitely going home to eat to take the hunger off my stomach and finish doing what I'm doing for today. So, yeah, enjoy y'all hump day. Let me turn down the AC. Matter of fact, I'm going to turn the AC off because I'm a little cold. I don't know why I'm a little cold today because it is kind of warm. No, it's, it's hot outside. It's Texas. It's still hot. But I saw this minion this morning walking this most beautiful dog. Uh, she was so cute. I can tell she was a girl because she was so pretty and had the long furry curl to her. Her tail went all the way curled. She y'all why that man yanked that dog like that yanking her he was walker i was thinking like okay do he not want to walk her today do he not want to be bothered with her and i thought about it it's just not this not my like only time i've ever seen that done by an individual but i know dogs are like people children like people love their dog y'all so Next time you say, ask someone to walk your dog. Make sure they like your dog. Are you sure they, they do? Are you sure they like your dog? Or, or make sure that they ain't got no attitude with you. Like, don't get into no fight and no argument and then ask them to walk your dog because don't be outside yanking them, yelling at them, being mad with them because they mad with you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh my God, I don't know why that bothered me. That bothered me to see the cute little dog. She was steady, like, like trying to jump at the car and everything. It was like she was so happy to be out. So freaking cute. I feel like a lot of times the dogs that, the, sometimes the dogs that people walk may not be their dog. So that's why they kind of like mean to them. But I don't know. I'm just saying, just make sure they like you before you be asking them to walk your dog. I'm at Aldi's right now. Nadine's picking up some kale because I want to make some kale soup. Later on today, I'm going to make cabbage and soup and rice. And But right now, I got me some lo mein, y'all. I cannot wait to eat it. I'm starving. I mean, I'm looking in my bag. Yesterday, I had some hot Cheetos with me. Me and Nadine's was snacking, boy. We snacked on them hot Cheetos. Um, now... I don't have, um, I have a peppermint, but I don't want no peppermint. I don't got some change. I need to clean out my bag. Yeah, it's time for me to eat because, yeah. I definitely need to clean out my bag because I, I have, um, quite a few lip gloss in here and, yeah, it's time to clean this bag out, y'all. I'm going to clean it out tonight when I go in the house. That's what I'm going to do. Y'all like my makeup? I also did my hair yesterday. Simple and cute. I do have me a new wig, but I'm not ready to put it on yet. I, I'm just not ready. I'll probably do it next week. But yeah, I also did my nails. Look at this. Aren't they cute? They so freaking cute. Okay. Oh my God. Nadine got a cantaloupe. 
Mmm. See ya. Good morning, spirit of lights. I'm just making it. The time said 11 11. That time I made it to this coffee pot. I have the washing machine and the dryer going. The lawnmower is outside. And I'm just giving up. Not too long ago, I kind of slept in late because it's been a long week. I think I'll go ahead and make me some coffee. Then long more. First thing this morning, actually, brunch time. I need to be trying to figure out what I'm going to eat. But they've been long more since early, early, early. And it's been all freaking morning. But I decided that I was just going to rest my mind. I didn't watch anything yesterday. I wasn't, it wasn't like that. Yeah, it wasn't that I wasn't interested in nothing. I felt like, yeah, tonight needs to be the night that I just rest my mind. I was going to play a puzzle. I was going to do something like that. But I didn't. I closed my eyes and raised my foot up. Mm, next thing you know, I was I was knocked out. And I actually went to bed early yesterday. I think I was in the bed by, I would say, 9.30. I think the wheat has finally caught up with me, and I'm exhausted. Now, I just need to put some uh, moisturizer on my face. My face is nice and smooth and clear. Mm-hmm. Um, I took a shower last night, but I didn't do anything else, like, to my face. So I'm going to bed. Shoot, and once that hot water hit me, I want no more good. And I feel like I need to start this morning out feeling good. Like, I'm making my coffee. I took a couple of deep breaths. And I feel like it's going to be a long day today. But... It's going to be a productive long day. <laughs> Just working on clearing out the mess that I made in certain places. I tore up my closet looking for, looking for a hole puncher. I have two hole punchers. I have a long one that you use in a binder. Yeah, I remember the hole punchers that you squeeze like this and you put the paper in and then you push down. I have one of those. And I have a small one, like for the hand, and you just punch the hole. I was looking for that. I look everywhere. I could not find it. And I remember when we first moved in, I was like, oh my God, the hole punchers. I thought I'd put them up so that I would not be looking for them. I tore the house up just looking for hole punchers. And I feel bad about it, but... I want to start putting it together. Some of the food that's like uh, box food and stuff like that we haven't even put up yet uh, for the house. I'm thinking about uh, cleaning out the refrigerator a little bit, uh, organizing the cabinets a little bit. I'm definitely going to try to clean my room a little bit and a little bit with the closet. I think one thing at a time, it'll get done. I'm not in a rush. I'm just, I'm starting out late. But it is well deserved, very well deserved. Feeling happy now that I'm about to get my coffee. Then I'll be ready to start my long day. I got a feeling I'm gonna go to bed late. Like I already know. All 
Bye. Okay, so I'm just relaxing for a minute. I'm going to put on this L'Oreal You Cool. I'm not doing too much moisturizing my skin or anything because I'm planning on lounging around like this pretty much for the day. Maybe this afternoon, late this afternoon. If I don't cook, then I'll go out and uh, maybe get me something to eat. We'll see. Most likely I'll probably cook something because I, I think I do got um, a taste for some salmon or rice. Something nice and simple, pretty much. My coffee is nice and hot. Mm, it says wear love everywhere you go. Man, that's good. I want you to have a nice weekend. So go into your weekend thinking about what you've been wanting to work on, what you've been wanting to clear out or narrow down and just work on it a little bit at a time. That's it. Don't try to do everything all at once, but also plan your weekend also around yourself. Like what are you going to do for yourself to make yourself feel good? Maybe like, are you going to go walking Saturday or on Sunday? Are you going to go to the gym? Are you just going to go to the park? Are you going to go visit friends and family? Or are you going to stay to yourself, get a magazine and just chill out? You know, think about what you're going to do for yourself this weekend. Mm. I've been working, like I told you earlier, on my closet. And the closer I get to feeling like, yeah, <laughs> my closet should be all right. Oh my God, I tear it up looking for something because I'm not completely organized yet. Uh, but I feel good about some things. I got uh, a lot of stuff hung up and I see a lot of stuff that I haven't seen in a long time. And I'm like, oh my God, I forgot I had this. So I definitely, definitely got to get unpacked and get everything organized. So when I'm looking for something, I can find it. And then I got to think about this weekend, what I'm going to do. I think one of the things I'm going to do is go get me some, maybe AHA, maybe. And if I don't do AHA, I'm going to do Denny's. I'm going to do something like that. I just want some pancakes, eggs for right now. That's what I want. I'm thinking about maybe having that on Sunday. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure, but... Um, when I get a taste for it, that's what I'm going to do for the weekend. Let's see, what else do I have planned? I'm just going to call my son. I don't even know if I'm going to see my son this weekend. He's been so busy. In one sense, I'm hoping that if my son do come by, that we just um, go eat or go chill out, hang out together. That's about it. I don't really want to do uh, too much fuming this weekend, for the week, but not this weekend. This weekend, I plan on having pure relaxation, maybe light a candle, take a long bath or something like that. I'm already got my weekend planning out in my head, like what I'm gonna do. I'm not planning it like plan, plan. I'm just thinking what are some of the things I wanna incorporate in my weekend to feel like by the time Monday came, I had a good weekend, you know, especially getting something done and doing something for myself. I'll tell you one thing that I do want to do. I do want to go underwear shopping. <laughs> I want to go underwear shopping and I want to go pajama shopping. Mm. Mm. Some get cold and you can never have too many or enough pajamas. I found my unicorn. Y'all remember that OG? <laughs> my unicorn onesie. <laughs> I found it today. <laughs> <laughs> and I put her in the washer. <laughs> and when it get cold enough, I'm going to be around here in my my unicorn onesie with no freaking problem. Yes, I am. Because I can't stand being cold. I can't. Now, I done got used to the heat in Texas. 
And I said, okay, I need to stop moving. I need to stop doing whatever I'm doing and just try to cool down. But what I haven't got used to is the cold. When it get cold, you can really feel, I feel it. I feel it through my bones. Like, I'm like, whoa. And lately, it's been feeling a little bit like Virginia with all of this rain. I'm not used to seeing so much rain every day. In August, it rained a lot. A whole lot. I, I was just like, why is it raining so much in August? That reminds me so much of Virginia. But it used to be a time when stuff reminded me of Virginia. And I would say, I want to go back. Because I miss Virginia. I miss Virginia. But at the same time, I feel like I don't make Texas my home. So most likely, I'm going to be in Texas somewhere. I feel like Texas is my home. Even though I keep saying, like, maybe, ooh, it would be nice to move to Las Vegas. And California, for me, is not in the cards. I think... Arizona, Las Vegas. I'm still talking out west, you know. One time I went to live in uh, Washington um, because in Washington, it's like everything is like climbing a hill. Everything is on the mountains and it's so freaking pretty out there. If I'm not mistaken, I was in a store it called, it was Kent, Washington. The, the town was called Kent. I could be wrong because I'm going off memory of years and years ago when I was a truck driver. <laughs> I was an over-the-road truck driver and I had to go through Oregon and I had to go through these mountains that go like this and then you got to the point where you say go 15 miles an hour, 10 miles an hour, 5 miles an hour proceed at your own risk it was so scary like you made the wrong move you when i looked up i saw traffic and trucks and other cars way up like wrapped around this mountain i'm still down here i was getting so nervous and but and i was like pretty much still kind of new as a truck driver i told myself if i make it through this journey of getting up that mountain to get to um, get out of Oregon. And during that time, it was flooding in Oregon. And you can look down and you would see cars literally floating from the floods, like stuff floating from houses and stuff. It was a very terrifying time. But I crossed that mountain <laughs> and then coming down the mountain, I had already lost my brakes in Wyoming. So uh, I was able to come down that mountain. I ain't going to say all that good, but I made it. <laughs> I made it. And, and when I made it, I got to, I think, Kent, Washington. And I absolutely love that town, like where I was. I was like, wow, I would love to live out here. I really would. When I was a truck driver, a lot of places I went, I didn't see um, people of my culture. If I did, it was just maybe like one, maybe two. And, but I never thought about like, you know, that would be, if I see more people of my culture, I'll definitely remove it. I just didn't even think about stuff like that. In my mind, I was just like, oh my God, should I move here? Do I want to live here? And then I was thinking about my two girls at the time that when I stopped driving trucks, where do I want to live at? Because I knew in my heart that I wasn't going to live in Virginia, even though I left Virginia from, uh, from where I started driving trucks. I felt like that wasn't where I was going to live. I was thinking about Marietta, Georgia, I was thinking about Albuquerque. If I'm not wrong now, remember I'm going off memory. <laughs> I could have this all wrong, okay? Albuquerque. <laughs> I think it's Albuquerque, New Mexico or something like that. <laughs> it, it was one of those. Also, it was a Phoenix, Arizona. I was thinking of those places of where I was going to raise my kids. So every time... I had a load where I had to pick up going out there. I really, really, really uh, bobcat around uh, once I dropped my load to see where I could, you know, migrate at, where I could leave Virginia and raise my kids in a different place. Once I come out of the trucks from driving over the road, I was just going to get a local job and stuff like that. <laughs> and then I ended up taking one trip to Virginia. 
And that's where I met my second husband and that kind of changed plans because it's so crazy because I had it in my mind that I was going to live in one of those three places. I think it was one more. It was one more. I was thinking about also Miami, Florida. So I was thinking about that too. And when I met my husband and talking to him and us being together, I decided that, okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and move back to Virginia. I was not supposed to move back. For, well, I felt like I wasn't supposed to move back to Virginia. But, you know, when you fall in love, when you meet someone that you like, the feelings just so fireworks, okay, all over the place. And you just want to be wherever that person is. You want to be... Uh, around them, you want to see them, you, you, you want to live together, that's where we were, and he, um, I did talk to him about some of the places that I was thinking about moving to, and I remember him saying, no, baby, I, I, I'm going to always live in Virginia, you know, <laughs> thinking like, okay, well, I guess, you know, I'll be living in Virginia. I guess at the time, you know, I didn't think about if I didn't choose Virginia that I wouldn't be with him and that didn't come across my mind only thing was on my mind was let's stick together so if you want to be in Virginia I'm gonna be in Virginia so that's how I ended up <laughs> in Virginia oh my god the memories but yeah speaking going back Kent Washington was really really pretty but now I'm in Texas it took me a while y'all it took me a while I, I'm in Texas for so many years since uh, 2012. I'm just now coming to grips within the last few months that yeah, I'm a Texan. I'm gonna be a Texan. I'm probably pretty much gonna live somewhere in Texas. I might move like to different cities or something like that, a different part of Texas, but I'm definitely uh, probably gonna be in Texas. <laughs> and I think what Brought me to that insight was when we took a trip. Where did we take that trip, y'all? Do y'all remember uh, me, Nadine, and Dream went up to Virginia to get my stuff from storage that had been in storage for seven years? Every time I think of seven years, I think about me and Nadine's uh, thing so long ago. It's been seven years since I. Oh, how I go? Oh my God, I can't remember. Oh, I can't even think of y'all, but it's our theme song to our um our vlog. It's Nadine the Spirit. It's Nadine the Spirit. <laughs> but I can't remember right now. I would have to go back and watch one of the videos. I bet I tell Nadine. She'll say, oh my God, Bob, I can't believe you forgot our theme song. But I always think about that. That's how we got the seven years. It's been seven years since I left Virginia. Since I left Virginia. I think that's how I go. Oh my God, I am the worst. But anyway... <laughs> We went up to Virginia and we had this feeling of, even though we going back to get our stuff and bring it back to Texas, we felt like we're going to end up getting up there, changing our mind, maybe putting it in a new story so we can get rid of what's not good or what we don't need anymore, what I don't need anymore, get a small storage. And we probably was going to make our way back to Virginia, but we didn't realize Oh my God! I don't know if you if you are one of the people that have left from where you live at, and then you go back and you realize what you didn't realize before. I know that's a lot of realize, realize, but seriously, I'm gonna tell you what: when we moved to Texas, Texas is so big. We had this mindset that it was going to be desertly. I don't know if that's a word, desertly. Or desert-y. <laughs> desert, it's going to be desert-like everywhere. And there's going to be hay everywhere. It's going to be cowboys everywhere. We had that in our mind. Like, it's probably going to be like that. But we knew that when we came down here, the reason why we was coming, because the cost of living was cheaper at the time. We was able to find us a place and pay for it in Virginia. So we have somewhere to go. So even when we lost everything, including our apartment, in our little townhouse in Virginia, we knew we had somewhere to live if we made it to Texas. We only had a few days, a certain day, not a day late. We couldn't be a day late and we couldn't be 
um, afternoon late either or we would have lost it and I didn't have any any more money to get anything else so we had no choice but to truck down here to to Texas and make it <laughs> when we got to Virginia we realized that things were like not different it was the same what words can I use Virginia is different from Texas. Texas is pretty much a lot more city than Virginia. It's a whole lot more people here. It's a lot, whole lot more places to go. Virginia is a very beautiful place, but we realized that we did a lot of driving in Virginia before we got from place to place. And you see a lot of trees. You see a lot of rural area. Even the cities are look different from Texas and we was just thinking like, okay, we miss Virginia, but we're gonna stay in Texas. <laughs> we're gonna stay in Texas. It's just like we left a, a little small country town and came to the big city. That's what it felt like when we got to Virginia. We didn't realize that it felt like that until we got back. And that's when we made up our mind that we probably would never go back to Virginia to live. If I had somebody special in my life, I felt like truly, truly loved me and, you know, or friends or family, then I would have been going back and forth to Virginia to visit. But I really don't have anyone in my life. I, I know people. I know a lot of people in Virginia, but I don't know nobody that's in my opinion, worth spending a whole lot of money going back and forth, traveling back and forth on a trip. I don't know no one who care about me enough for me to do something like that. Right now, it's looking like I don't have no reason to be in Virginia unless I'm just going to Virginia Beach or going to go out there for shopping and those reasons. Like all my business, everything I ever did, documents and work and stuff like that, is closed. I have no connection anymore with Virginia, so there'll be no reason for me to, oh, I gotta go to Virginia, take care of this, and I gotta go to Virginia, take care I closed out. When I closed out my storage, I closed out everything, and that was it. Definitely appreciated Texas when I went back to Virginia. I never thought I would say that, because I used to, man, I used to, oh, I used to go off on some stuff about Texas, and I, I used to say, oh my God, it's just not like Virginia. Oh my God, I miss Virginia. But it definitely is different. But I have grown to appreciate the difference. I really have. Especially with the fact that if you decide you want to go somewhere, you got a whole lot of stuff to choose from to do if you want to actually do something. We do got some stuff to do in Virginia, but I, I, I actually really like Texas. So I, now, I do miss the Virginia water, the Virginia beach, and I miss, I don't miss the crabs. I'm not going to say that. I, when I first got down here, I did. Because everywhere I went, everybody was serving, what, what is that, crawfish? <laughs> and I was supposed to try it, y'all. I was going to buy me a big bag of crawfish one day and really try it. I think I changed my mind. Like, it's just like, once I decide I'm going to do it. And then when I see them, like, uh, <laughs> I can't do the crawfish yet. I, I got to have me a partner. Somebody who know how to eat crawfish. To, to, and I see how they, you know, you see somebody eating something that look good. You want it? <laughs> so I got to see somebody eat the crawfish in front of me for me to really go for it. Now, I did the crawfish sushi. That was good. It was chewy. I liked it to taste. But breaking off the head and sucking out the juice and everything, my, my mind ain't, ain't dead yet. But I'm a crab person, so when I first came to Texas, it was hard to find blue crabs. And when I finally found them, oh my God, me wishing that I was back in Virginia so I could get blue crabs was over. <laughs> it was over because the crabs down here, when they're in good season, the biggest crabs you get in Virginia for, that I had got blue crabs, they were, they basically, is small compared to Texas small like did I say that right like the Virginia large crab is the size of Texas small crab so so you can imagine that when I saw the crabs my eyes went berserk I literally went 
like I ate so much crab because they made good. They're sweet, they're delicious, they're good, especially when you get them from the seafood market and the way you get them live so you can cook them yourself. They're really, really good. The uh, only thing I don't like is like when you go to certain places in Texas and you get the blue crab, if they're cooking it, you most likely get pretty much a small to a medium crab. You don't get that large crab. You got to go to the seafood market and pick out your own crab in order to get that nice big size crab. Mm -hmm. I try not to get crab out because you definitely can get a lot of crab down here in Texas. But yeah, so I don't miss the crabs in Virginia. Now I'm going to tell you what I do miss. The croakers. I miss fried croakers. They actually got the little croaker restaurants. If you type in croaker in Virginia, they got the croaker restaurants. When I tell you good, they're delicious. Good. And I haven't been able to find any place down here in Texas where I say, I want me a fried croaker. I want me a, a baked croaker or anything like that. No. I, I, the best I found was actual croaker fish. When I first started searching for croaker, <laughs> you know what, when you're looking for something, be confident here in Texas. Be confident here in Texas because when I started looking for the croaker fish, the guy told me, we got the croaker cousin. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny but it wasn't funny at the time because I was upset and you know what just because you know things are a cousin to something doesn't mean they're going to be exactly like them they might look like them but they totally different in the inside they told me that the yellow croaker was the croaker's cousin okay so I'm thinking okay it's, it's a little yellow a little peachy okay fine you know um It'll be all right, you know. Look like the croaker, took it home Friday. Uh, uh, uh. I couldn't even eat that fish. Mm -mm. I don't like no slimy like meat. I don't like stuff like that. I, oh my God, no. So if you ever eat croaker, and the uh, the croaker that has the, like the, a little bit of pink to them, uh, just a little bit or the croaker the you know what the croaker look like you know what i'm talking about that yellow croaker that cousin i don't know who was mixed with the cousin but it did not work for me i ain't never buy it again so but i got but it helped me because when i went to another place trying to get the croaker i never gave up y'all i never gave up it was like no we got the cousin and i was like uh no that's all right i don't want it you sure you sure? no i don't want the cousin <laughs> So then, finally, I went to a different place, and they had the actual croaker. The croakers were huge, and then they had just a few small ones. And I had the man digging, digging, he told me something, all of them big, all of them big. I was like, keep digging, find me the small ones. He was like, you sure, you sure? I, yeah, yeah, I put the small He digging, digging, and digging. And every time he pulled up, a croaker was that big, right? Finally, he found maybe about three small ones, and I ended up getting like um, four big ones. And the price only came to about 12 freaking dollars. I was freaking out. I was like, I was shocked. I was shocked. Like, it literally don't cost much money at all to get the croakers. And they are delicious. Now, I know in New Jersey, we're used to eating whiteies, um, Portuguese. What's the other fish that they eat in New Jersey? I can't think of it right now. Down here, I haven't found the exact whiteys. Now, they had them in Virginia. I haven't found the whiteys that I like down here. Now, I see whiteys. They call them whiteys or something like that in a bag, and they filleted them. But I haven't seen the whole fish, so I missed that part. I used to get that all the time in Virginia, and I used to get me a whole bunch of whiteys and fry them up, and me and my kids enjoyed them with some hot sauce and some home fries. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. And I have to I have gotten used to not being able to get what I used to get in Virginia. But also the more I travel, the more I find places and before you know it, I find what I'm looking for. I couldn't believe when I finally found the blue crabs and how delicious they were. It started to make me feel a lot like home. <laughs> And now it's starting to rain a lot. It's starting to remind me of Virginia. I don't really like it. I like the sun. I like it hot here in Texas. I don't like it hot, hot. Because I mean, I don't know where you'll break out in the sweat. Okay. But um, I don't got used to the heat. My bones don't got used to it. I'm not, I'm not used to the cold. I don't ramble enough with y'all. <laughs> 
I'm not going to hold y'all no longer. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your vlogs. For all my vlog lovers, my spirit of lights, make sure you leave me a comment. Let me know you've been enjoying the vlog because I have been putting a little effort <laughs> <laughs> a little effort inside of the vlog so making sure that y'all get a vlog Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So make sure you hit your notification bell. Some people say, Spirit, I haven't got my notification. I haven't got my notification. So if you hit subscribe on a certain video, you most likely going to get notifications for that particular video. Like for instance, um, the word search. Okay. When you hit the notification bell, select that you want um, to see all of my notifications or whatever I film um, to, to, so that you can be notified, then you have to hit, um, you know, all of the videos, something like that. And then you will get notification. But if you hit subscribe on the vlog, then you're most likely to get notifications when just the vlogs come out. Okay. But now I want to give you all some insight so that you're not searching through so many videos because y'all all know. Y'all all know that Spirit is a lifestyle um, ASMR artist. I am a lifestyle ASMR artist. My ASMR is surrounded basically my life. Okay, whatever I do, whatever I like, whatever I want, whatever I buy, it, it pertains to me doing it actually in my real life. And I share it through ASMR videos to bring relaxation, calm, sleep. And help you get through stressful days and make you feel stronger to be able to make it through the day and, and, and do better the next day. We all know that I do ASMR videos, but with the vlogs, uh, the vlogs are mostly relaxation vlogs. I'm not really a hype person. <laughs> My hype days are pretty much past me. And even when I was hype, I was like a young girl. Like, I went to the club. I ain't gonna lie. do tell you the truth. I went to the club Thursday, Friday, and Saturday when I was a young girl. And I say young, like, I was, let's see, 17, 18, 19, 20. <laughs> uh, maybe 21. <laughs> 22. I decided that the, the club thing, I was kind of done with it. Not over it, but kind of done with it. I had a group of girlfriends that I love, that I hung out with. And things kind of changed that once I, you know, got pregnant again. I had someone in my life and I pretty much felt like I was growing up. <laughs> I, I, I do, I love to work. I love to do stuff. I, I love doing stuff that makes me feel good me feel relaxed and so I share that with you. I think the most hype I get is when I'm laughing or being silly or stuff like that but that neither there or there I have been putting some efforts and making sure you get a vlog like I said let me repeat Friday, Saturday, and Sunday so you like next time stay gonna load a vlog Friday, Saturday, and Sunday and if you miss it make sure you go back and check out the vlogs that were that were loaded before this and I'm numbering them so like, for instance, this week, we're on vlog 60, 61, and 62, okay? So, if you miss vlog 59, 58, 57, go back. Go back to those vlogs. Enjoy them. Also, you can find the vlogs in the playlist. I think I got like five vlogs missing. One of these days, I'll go through all the vlogs and see which one has not hit the playlist and make sure I put it in their order. But if you hit the playlist and you miss the vlog, and it says something like vlog 34, but you can't find vlog 35. Just, you know, look for vlog 35. Go back down some and you'll find it. But one of these days, I'll put it all in there. I feel good. I'm finally current. I'm not three, four months behind anymore. Every time I have to load a vlog, I'll be like months behind everybody. And I'm like, oh my God, people say it's fair. It's, it's like spring and you're still in last year winter. <laughs> So I'm finally caught up. So this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. Yeah. Let me take one more sip of my coffee. Mmm. Mmm. It was nice talking to y'all this morning. I hope I gave you some 
encouragement, some enlighten and make you feel good today. Go get you something good to eat and just relax. And I will see y'all. See y'all in the vlogs. Bye. Have a wonderful weekend and a powerful Monday. I'm having impossible burger, spinach and cheese. Mm. Toast it. That looks so good. We bought a fish sandwich. No, it was something different about the fish sandwich, so we end up not having dinner. We end up just going to bed. I did want to watch TV.